And welcome to the hot lap. And Jacques Villeneuve has come out and said Max Verstappen is not the greatest. He takes issue with what Jeremy Clarkson has suggested. It was a suggestion saying Max Verstappen, I think, is the greatest of all time. Obviously, your Red Bull fans and Max Verstappen fans are going to think so. Lewis fans, perhaps not. Any other fans, perhaps not as well. We can agree that he has the potential to be one of the greatest out there. Absolutely the greatest. I don't know. Not so much, maybe. So let's get into it. This is over planetf1.com. Jack Villeneuve well, takes issue with Jos Verstappen over Johnny Herbert Demon. That is next. But first, F1 champion dismisses Jeremy Clarkson's back for Verstappen. F1 goat, as in greatest of all time. He's not talking farm animals, just in case. So, uh, Villeneuve, he's questioned Jeremy Clarkson. As you know, the 97 world champion, he's now, what, 64 years old. But he wrote in his column for the Sun newspaper that the Dutchman may even be the greatest we've ever seen. That's Jeremy Clarkson. Now, in response, Villeneuve, it says here, attacked. But no, let's be honest, he just took an issue. Everyone is allowed an opinion. I have one here. Most days. On the hot lap on YouTube. Or wherever you decide to watch. But, it goes, how can Jeremy Clarkson say Max Verstappen is the greatest of all time? He said he had a great season when he beat Lewis for his first championship. Yes, well... Take away Abu Dhabi, he, had, he did have a great season. Uh, it was peak Lewis versus an almost peak, maybe peak, Max Verstappen. It was really, really good. Shouldn't have won, I know. But both, arguably, their talents deserved the title. And he's put, then he's had the same... He's put, so he's had, the, he's had a great season where he beat Lewis for his first championship. And then, then he's put... Then he's had the same way that Lewis won his first race. The first one. So he's raced for the title in 2008 and is Lewis's next title, 2014, in a very dominant Mercedes. Yes. Then he's had easy ones the same way Lewis had easy ones. And this year he's been fighting back. So this year has been a great year. I do take issue with that a tiny bit. Lewis Hamilton had, uh, for his second championship, had Nico Rosberg, who is no slouch. And arguably, maybe other than equal to Daniel Ricciardo, Better than every one of Jacques Villeneuve's, uh, better than anyone, well, Jacques Villeneuve, sorry, better than any one of Jos Verstappen's teammates. So, easy ones, maybe when he had Bottas as his teammate after 16, so 17, 18, 19, 20, you know, so 14 and 16, 14 and 15 were great. 16, Nico Rosberg won, then at 17, 18, <clears throat> 19, 20, he had Bottas, who I don't, let's be honest, was not as good as Nico Rosberg. Anyway, he said, you can't compare the era of Fangio to now. They are different eras. Yes. So you cannot say one of them is the greatest of all time. The sport has changed too much. You can, I mean, I, I, I kind of, I kind of feel that's a bit unfair. You can have those. There's nothing stopping you having those conversations. Absolutely not. No. Um, and I think you should have those conversations. I think they're healthy conversations to have. They're good conversations to have in Formula 1. Now, he said Verstappen can match Michael Schumacher's titles. I completely agree. Verstappen has won the previous three titles and is poised to make that four over the next month as he holds a 62-point lead with three rounds remaining in 2024. Villeneuve thinks Verstappen can go and equal um, the record for the most F1 driver titles currently held by Lewis and Michael yes he absolutely good however you have people like Lando Norris maybe not good yet getting ready with McLaren next year you've got George Ross and Kimi Antonelli and if Mercedes are happy with them you have to wonder where will Max Verstappen go but Max is still hungry and competitive and always goes for the win he doesn't get brought down absolutely he doesn't uh, with the right situation, he will always be there to win a championship, Jack said. Yes, he will. The same way that Alonso could have uh, won seven championships. Um, look how often he got close with Ferrari. Excuse me, which, let's be honest, definitely wasn't the best car most times. Um, now, take Schumacher. He could have won. He could have had three instead of seven, but he could have had even more. Sometimes it's so close, there's a few drivers out there that don't have the amount of championship they probably deserve. Yes, arguably. I mean, had 2007 gone differently, Lewis could have eight titles or nine had Abu Dhabi gone differently um 
for example, at Mika Hakanem, had 2000 gone a bit differently, he could have he could have won that. In 2003, Kimi Raikkonen could have been a champion. So we'll be talking about a double world champion. These are really fine margins. And if you look at how close the 2010 championship is, Alonso, what well, someone suggested not long ago, but for like five or six points, Alonso could be like a three, four, multiple, you know, a much more like multiple world champion. But he said Max has won every world championship that he could have won. He hasn't missed one so far. Well, the, he had the one close one in 2021. Yeah, we we know we we're not talking anymore about that today. Um, then he had the other ones, which were relatively easy. This one not so much easy, but still, he's is his um second most difficult one so far. And I want to quickly hit quickly have a look at this. Um, this one here, which I thought was interesting. Jack Villeneuve takes issue with Jos Verstappen over the Johnny Herbert demand. And so Jack has responded to Verstappen, suggesting the FIA stewards should not be permitted to speak to media. That's something we completely agree with. Now, following Verstappen's calling for the FIA stewards not to talk to the press, Villeneuve has poured cold water on the suggestion. Uh, Verstappen makes a call for stewards to stop talking to media, which he did. He was, he was obviously quite upset. We did a story about it, about Herbert speaking in the interview um, about his son. And uh, it led to his father, Jos, getting involved, saying that Verstappen Sr. acknowledging his son had gone too far in his battle with Norris during their battle, but the FA stewards should not be permitted to express personal views to the press. I kind of agree. I thought Max went too far the second time in Mexico as well. Verstappen said, I think he feels the same now. I can also just say that honestly to him, I think you have to be open and honest. I think a steward should not talk to the press uh, at all and do a constant job. I kind of agree in a way. Maybe. I mean, I see where he's coming from, most certainly. His comments came shortly after his he aired concerns of a conflict of interest over the selection of driver stewards on the FA stewarding panel at any given race weekend. Well, let's be fair. I, I, I kind of, I think a lot of people agree with Jos Verstappen, even the fact that the stewards, it's been, excuse me, it's been so incon consistently inconsistent. But Jack Milner says it's not easy to be fully neutral. He said, given the small pool of drivers interested in appearing as a driver steward and expenses only position, so your expenses are paid and that's it. So you're not doing it for money. Cutting off income streams for their punditry would make the role even more unpalatable, believes Jack Villeneuve. And that's quite interesting. That's something I did not know. So given the small pool of drivers, um, cutting off income streams for their punditry because they're not paid. So the 97 F1 World Champion was speaking in an interview with uh, Gro with Grosnair Sport. Sorry if I got that wrong. In which he scoffed at Verstappen's suggestion that the stewards shouldn't be allowed to speak to the media. He said, I didn't see anything bad from Herbert as far as I can see. The rules were followed in Mexico, he said. They do the marshalling for free. And so, uh, Jos Verstappen cannot ask a pundit to give his job up for something for nothing. You would have no marshals. Either you have paid marshals, and they do that as a full-time job as in other motorsports. He said, or... You would always have an issue. It's not always easy to be fully neutral. It's that simple. Both the rules, are the yeah, but the rules are badly written. That's the first issue. Uh, I, I tell you what, I think Johnny Herbert's kind of like vindicated now because of this. Given the pool of former drivers interested in appearing as a driver steward, and expenses only position for the weekend, cutting off income streams for their punditry would make the role even more unpalatable. Absolutely, you know. Yeah, I think I, I mean there we go. Um. Even though I said, I don't really agree with stewards giving their opinions. I think that's maybe a bit more egg over my face as well, because I had no idea about that. Anyway, if you made it to the end, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. If you did make it to the end, in our eyes, you are a world F1 champion. If you give us a like and made it to the end or comment, you're going to be a multiple world champion, in my eyes anyway. And I thank you. And on that, stay safe. And speak to you soon.